shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. Yes. T today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamashita's bitch. <laughs> what is it? Then I'll... Damn it! What the hell? <sighs> Is that what it looks like? All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told him something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? So you want to tell them about the castle? They never believe us. <sighs> Have any other ideas? What do we do? The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to- I finally found you! You say something? Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice... Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day! The cat's talking? I am NOT a cat! This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this, too? Then it really is Morgana. You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm. 
I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? God, quiet down! <laughs> Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this. I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Uh, make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey, how dare you treat me like... Don't be so rough with me. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. For real? He he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Our luck's running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love, those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? For real? Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. 
that's not the point. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here. Give it a rest? I told you, I'm not feeling up to it. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, uh. Shiho's starting position. Are you listening? <sighs> Haven't you heard of privacy? <sighs> no, I was out of line. Sorry. So, how much did you hear? Nothing at all. Nothing.
I don't have anything to talk about with you. It was just an argument. Thank you very much! You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. <clears throat> that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. <sighs> you know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh... I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, Shiho's my best friend. She's all I have left of that sorry excuse of school. Tell me, what should I do? Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. <laughs> what? What am I saying? I barely even talked to you before. So weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person, as the rumor says? You just don't seem like it. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? I kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. As if something like that would ever happen. I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Well, thanks. Zui, are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamashita's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. Huh. <laughs>